I think the you know biggest um, uh, impact to neuro brain disorder research and neuroscience uh, is the technology development. And so brain is really really complex. Brain is within the skull, and you cannot just see it, and you cannot open it up and to look at it. So that's a really difficult area to study. However, the recently the other um, um, complexity. We have 80 billion neurons plus 80 billion non-neuronal cells. So they are basically massive uh, number of cells within uh, the brain. And they, many, many of them are different. They are different cell types, different connections. They do different things. Each brain region has their own unique function and uh, our own unique functions. So, so have uh, the technology to, uh, you know, see them, measure their activity, and manipulate them is critical. So uh, there are two things probably really important. One is understand how many cell types are in the brain, you know, how they make connections, what each cell type to do, right? So then if we understand that, then you can look at different disorders in Alzheimer's disease, in depression, which cell type is affected. Then you can go very specifically to fix it. So this is the, there are several technologies developed. The most probably important technology is a single cell, we call a single cell RNA-seq. Basically, it's a, you can sequence individual cell, their gene expression, all the genes expressed in that single cell. And you can sequence millions and millions and millions at the same time. So uh, that dramatically reduces the cost and uh, increases the information, basically data. And with this kind of data, you can compare individual cells from normal people brain or from the um, you know patient brain postnatally uh, postmodern but in animals you can look at the tracing how the disease progress and what kind of gene expression change and which cell type changed the earliest or died the earliest in Alzheimer's disease so this allows to really understand the process of progression of disease but also potentially find a ways to inter intervene much earlier to prevent it to happen. So that's one of the key technologies. The other technology I think is really important is minimum invasive uh, manipulation of neurons. So that including optogenetics. Optogenetics is basically you express um, uh, a light sensitive protein into cell or neuron. Then you just shed light on that neuron will be get either excited or inhibited. So you can manipulate the fu function of the circuits very precisely. So that's one of the approaches used widely in research, but hopefully in the future will be also in clinical use. The other approach is called chemogenetics. It basically, uh, instead of using light, you use a ligand to activate that. So you mutate a, a protein, you can put it into any cell type, any neuron, then you take a ligand, take a drug, that drug will activate that neuron. So that is uh, also widely used in research, but now it's starting to move into clinical testing to see whether we can use that to treat, for example, depression or Parkinson's disease. And last week, there's a, a very nice paper use this approach, chemogenetic approach, uh, published to treating Parkinson's disease. So.